I was talking with a friend about um, about this, you know, seeing so many people who are just giving up on themselves and how, you know, the, the reasons why it happens are, it's like, you know, oh, I'm, you know, I'm in my 40s now and, uh, you know, or I'm so tired. I, you know, I, I can't do the things that I used to do. You know, I'm, um, I have bad knees. I have a bad back. I have weak shoulders. I've got arthritis, bursitis, tendonitis. Um, you know, I can't lift anymore. I can't train like I want to. I can't run anymore. I can't play golf. Um, you know, the, the doctors can't figure out what's going on with me. So, you know, I, this is just how things are going to be. Um, and, and how it is when you get to be my age, right? It, and it's so defeating, right? Everybody's tired all the time. Everybody's just, you know, uh, oh, you know, I'm overweight and that's just how it is because I'm older now, right? My body hurts. That's just how, how things are. That's how life is. And the thing about it is that it, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking because it's a bunch of bullshit. It's, it's nothing more than stories that we create in our head. It's the stories we're telling ourselves. It's the language that we're feeding this brain of ours with because from our stories, from how we talk to ourselves, from how we see ourselves, from how we think about ourselves, that's what drives how we behave and how we act and the results we get. So all of the outcomes that happen, the being tired, the, the living in pain all the time, there's nothing I can do about it, right? All of that shit starts up here and it drives our actions and behaviors. It becomes a subconscious uh, pattern. It becomes programmed and it feels so real because it happens automatically and we're not even aware that we're the ones creating it. And I remember, I remember, I remember when I had a serious shoulder injury. I remember being 32 years old and in so much pain. I could, I had days where I couldn't fucking stand up. I couldn't move. My back was so fucked up. I remember, you know, having injuries from, from head to toe and having a serious shoulder injury one day and, and going to a physical therapy clinic where I spent three hours with the two top therapists in there. And in three hours, they couldn't figure out what the hell was wrong with my shoulder. They just told me not to do bench pressing anymore and don't lift overhead and don't do anything that causes pain. And here's this rubber tubing and a sheet of these generic exercises, but we don't really know what's going on. And that's just going to be how it is for you. And, you know, if things get really bad, well, maybe, you know, you got to look at uh, going to see a doctor or get some pain medication or maybe surgery is the answer. And I could not accept it. I couldn't accept it. I was 32 years old. I had the rest of my life to live. I couldn't accept that. And I remember thinking to myself, this is bullshit. Because if doctors can't figure it out, if chiropractors can't do my adjustments and, and teach me how to stay in place and, and, and how to live pain-free, and if therapists can't figure this shit out, then I got to do something. I've got to figure this out on my own. And that was it. And that began the journey. I don't have pain today. It's very rare that I'll feel any kind of pain. And I'm 46 years old. And guess what? I lift fucking heavy constantly. I lift heavy. I run. I jump. I can run around and play with my daughter. I can do things that I want to do physically. I have good energy. I take care of that shit. Why? because I refuse to let their stories become my belief. Refuse it. And I absolutely refuse to give up on myself. See, here's the thing, like when we give up on ourselves, we're, we're giving up on our dreams, we're giving up on our hopes, we're giving up on our goals. We give up on ourselves and that's what we become. Then what do we have left? When you give up on yourself and your dreams, what do you have left? What's left? What does your life become when you give up on yourself? Right? This life that we've got, this one shot that we got here, right here, right now, this is ours. But if we give up on it, we give up on ourselves. What do you have left? Right? What do you have to live for? Where's it at? Where's the excitement? 
Where's the, the, the desire to push and to do and to, and, and to create and to become what you want? Where does it go? And then what is the example that we set for our kids? I've got a 10-year-old daughter, soon to be 11, and she sees what I do. Not what I say so much, but what I do. So if I'm giving up on myself, telling myself all the reasons why I'm too old, why I can't do this, I'm not good enough or smart enough or you know whatever reason I have, what is she learning then? That's what I'm teaching her. So I'm teaching her how to give up on her dreams and her desires and to think that she can't, maybe she can't do these things either because her dad didn't. And that's just the message that I have today is that for, for whatever you know reason you might have or, or, or whatnot or, or whatever you're thinking, whatever you're going through, as tough as this shit might seem sometimes, and sometimes it seems like impossible. There's days that are just fucking dark. There's times that are really tough. There are obstacles that get in our way and sometimes we really don't see how we can, how we can overcome them. But no matter what, you can't give up on yourself. It's not an option. You cannot give up on yourself. Find a way. Keep trying and reprogram the language that you're telling yourself here. Flip that fucking script around because it drives everything you do. Change that language. Refuse, absolutely refuse to give up on yourself because you're worth fighting for. Your dreams are worth it. You are worth it. You deserve it. Don't let any of that shit, that negative shit in your head hold you back. Never give up on yourself. And that's all I've got for today. So go out there, do what you got to do. Rearrange this stuff here. Change that mindset. Change that language going on. Be aware of what you're saying to yourself. Be very aware of it. And change that shit, flip that script and never give up on yourself.